Hello and welcome back to another Zombicide painting tutorial. This time I'll be showing you how you can paint the Abomination from Zombicide Black Plague using the same colours uh, and scheme that you can find in the artwork. And as always I'll be using the Army Painters range of Zombicide uh, paints as well as the Army Painters range of brushes. Now here we have the Abomination and as you can see I've primed it using the Army Painters Barbarian Flesh Spray Primer. Now this is because most of the miniature is uh, flesh colour, so it just makes it a lot easier if we've already got the tone down already. Now before priming your miniatures, do make sure you wash them thoroughly in warm soapy water with an old toothbrush for example, because there is a release agent on the miniature and it can cause problems when priming. Now the first task is to paint the, the cloth around the waist there, and we'll paint in these areas with elf green. For this step I'm using my regiment brush, I'm just going to be applying this over the, uh, the back cloth here. Now the regiment brush is brilliant for this because it's uh, small enough to give me some control, but also large enough to make uh, covering larger areas easier. Now as you can see I've mixed in a small amount of water, this is my personal preference really. The only painter paints can handle being used straight out of the bottle, but I really like to apply several uh, thin down coats as opposed to one thick one, it just gives us the best coverage possible. The next step is to paint the black areas. Now this includes the cowl on the head there, and also the uh, the, sh the ripped shoes at the bottom. We're painting all of these areas with a necromancer cloak. For this step, I'm using my character brushes. It will afford me much better detail, uh, much better control over the detail areas. So I'm just going to be painting along the shoes here. Just being very careful not to overspill onto the skin areas. In the next step, we'll be focusing on the rags of torn cloth that adorn the arms and also the, the chest of the abomination there. We're painting these areas with brain matter beige. For painting these areas I'm using my uh, character brush again as we want to get some nicer uh, control over the smaller areas and I've uh, added some water into the mix of the brain matter beige just to improve the flow and I'm going to be applying two thin down coat coats as opposed to one thick one as this will give us a really nice and kind of crisp white against the flesh there. With the rags completed we can now focus on the left trouser leg and also any rope or uh, stitching on the material there. We're painting all of these areas with leather brown. For this step I'm using my character brush again, however when you come to paint uh, some of the more detailed areas such as the, the rope uh, where you've already painted, uh, then you might want to use a detail brush instead. The next step is to paint the planks that are embedded into the forearms of the abomination there, I'm painting these with a dirt splatter. So using my regiment brush for this step, I'll just be painting these wooden shards there. Just be careful not to overspill onto the skin or the ragged cloth areas. The next step is to wash over the entirety of the miniature using Zombie Shader. I'll be applying this wash using my monster brush here, as it's uh, large enough to get some uh, nice quick coverage over the areas. Now I just want to make sure that the wash gets into all of the recesses and pulls nicely, creating some nice shading across the surface. So once the first wash is dry, we can now uh, continue with the washes with deep shader, and we can apply this wash onto the, the brown areas, such as the leg, uh, the rope, and also the wooden shards in the forearms as well. So for this step, I'm using my regiment brush, as I want to have a little bit more control over this particular wash. I'm just going to be putting it over the brown areas here, which just bring out the definition a lot better than the zombie shaded would do in the previous step. With the washes completed we can now start on the highlights and first of all we'll be highlighting the cloth around the waist there and for this we'll be using plague skin. For this step I'm using my character brush and I'm just going to be dragging this along the edges of the green cloth there, just create a highlight, just picking them out like so. The next highlight is for the black areas and for this we'll be using filthy suit. So as with the previous step I'm using my character brush for this and I'm just going to be running the brush along the edges of the black areas just to create some nice highlights. I'll now be highlighting the brown areas such as the trousers, the rope and also the wooden uh, shards that are in the forearms there. I'll be highlighting these with a 50-50 mix of zombie skin and dirt splatter. So using my character brush I'm just going to be picking out the raised sections here just to create some nice depth on the paint just with the, the lighter brown and also the wash that we created. Uh, some nice shading in the recesses earlier. With the brown areas highlighted, I'll now be highlighting the ragged cloth along the, the back there, and for this I'll be using Brain Matter Beige. When painting the edges of the, uh, the cloth here, be very careful not to overspill onto the skin areas. So for this I'm using my uh, character brush again, just picking out the very edges of the cloth. For the highlights on the skin areas, we'll be using a 50-50 mix of Survivor Skin and Brain Matter Beige. 
So using my character brush, I'm just going to be using it to pick out the raised sections on the skin, like so, and also any large flat areas just to uh, go over, create some streaks like so. So now we can start with applying some gore to the miniature, so we're going to be focusing this around the mouth and also the hands and the shards of wood in the forearms there, so I'm going to be using a crusted saw for this. For this step there's no real need to be neat, so I'm just using my regiment brush here, I'm just going to be applying this gore along the hands there, just anywhere where you expect dried blood to accumulate on the miniature. Now that the dry blood is complete we can move on to adding some fresh blood, and this will be using glistening blood. Glistening blood is perfect for painting the fresh blood as it dries there shiny and I'm just going to be applying this to the areas that we've already painted which is where you would expect the fresh blood to be such as uh, on the knuckles like here. And here we have the completed abomination. Now uh, I've gone for a fairly um, conservative amount of gore and blood on this particular miniature however if you wanted to add a lot more on that that's fine uh, feel free to just add more abomination, uh, sorry crusted saw and uh, glistening blood to any of the areas you want to achieve any more gore effects. Now whilst this tutorial used more of a, a natural skin tone for the Abomination skin, uh, in later tutorials I'm hoping to kind of cover different skin tones, so you'll be able to apply uh, those different skin tones to this Abomination miniature just by uh, swapping out either the, the base layer primer and then a few of the skin painting techniques as well. Now if you enjoyed this uh, tutorial be sure to let me know in the comments below and also subscribe to be kept up to date with all my latest Zombicide Black Plague tutorials. And if you want to support me in making more videos you can do so by heading over to my Patreon page where you can help support me from as little as a dollar a month and that just helps uh, provide me with uh, enough funds to buy more miniatures and paints to do so. So until next time, thanks for watching and goodbye.